Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this result. The result is if you have any compact set and any closed set then their intersection is also compact. Okay, so let us start with the given information. What have they given to us? We have a matrix space XD. So we have a matrix space XD. So they are given K is a compact subset of X and K subset of X is compact. Okay. As well as they are given F is a closed subset of X and F subset of X is closed. So what we have to prove? We have to prove that K intersection F is compact. So let me mention here to prove that K intersection F is compact. Okay. This thing we have to prove. So let me draw the diagram. So picture will be clear to us. So such matrix space XD we have. Okay. So this is our matrix space XD. Okay. We have a set K. K. So which is compact, right? We have another set F. F. Which is closed. So this set is closed. And what we have to prove? We have to prove the intersection is compact. The common part F. K intersection F is compact. This thing we have to prove. Okay. So let us start with the given information that is K is compact. So let me mention here we have we have K is compact. See one result we have already proved in our previous videos. So that is every compact set is closed. So here K is compact. So therefore we can clearly mention it is closed. So implies K is Close. So I should mention the reason every compact set set is closed. So this is the reason behind it. See what will I do? I will uh, add the link of this video which we have already pre proved in previous video. So that link will be uh, I will mention in the description. So you can watch if you want. Right. So every compact set is closed. So that's why we can say K is closed. See, as well as we have a second information that is F is close. Also, we have, also we have F is close. So right now we have a two closed sets. K, K is a compact. Every compact is close. So that's why K is close. F is also close. So we know that if you have any arbitrary closed sets, then their intersection is also close. So let me mention here. So we have two closed sets K and F. So therefore their intersection is also closed. So let me mention here implies K intersection F is closed. Right. So I should mention the reason. The reason is arbitrary intersection intersection of closed sets is closed. So this is the reason behind it. Okay, arbitrary that means finite or infinite. Getting so if you take any uh, infinite intersection, in, uh, intersection of any infinite sets so or finite, so intersection will be closed. Getting so we can mention here. So therefore, therefore, what we get here, k intersection f, which is a, which is a closed subset of k. So I should mention therefore. K intersection F, you can easily see in this diagram. So K intersection F is a closed subset. It is a closed subset. Since just now we proved it is closed. Closed subset of what? It is a closed subset of this set K. Closed subset of a compact set K. Getting? In this diagram, you can easily see the intersection is a subset of set K. Intersection is closed, we have proved, and K is compact, it is given. So that's why I directly mentioned K intersection F is a closed subset of a compact set K. But see in our previous videos, again, we have proved one result that is closed subset of a compact set is compact. So that's why I can directly mention. So therefore, therefore, K intersection F is compact. So the reason I should mention here. The reason is since every closed subset, every closed subset of a 
compact set is compact so this result we use so link of this result also i will mention in the description so uh, already we have i have prepared one video on that so if you want its proof you can watch that video so the proof of this theorem is over here make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you